So welcome back or welcome to Yoga with Kira. This is day one of shine. So yeah, so what gets in the way of you shining? What gets in the way of you being really radiant and full and big and soft and deep and all those things, you know, what, what gets in the way? So this month we'll be looking at many different things um, and we're going to be doing them with equipment. Equipment. So I have um, two tins of amazing coconut oil, coconut milk. <laughs> it's amazing. Um, amazing coconut milk. And this is going to be a thing that we're going to use. If you do have the wrist weights, then use them if you want and you can have them on all the time. But I will be saying, pick up your weights. Okay, pick up your weights. Um, Another thing you're going to need is either a shiny piece of paper or a pair of fluffy socks um, because we're sliding to shine. <laughs> and then the last thing is a bag of sugar, which is one kg. Or I do have um, like this is also one kg. So something that, you know, as we go, maybe we'll make something heavier. But at the moment, something that's one kg bag of sugar. And I have this covered in cling film just in case. It would be a bit of a disaster. <laughs> so come with your, what you need today is your two tins of something and your slidey stuff. And as always, if you don't use the weights, then that's amazing because you're listening to your shoulders and you know just doing the movements is enough. If you use heavier weights because you feel resilient and strong, remember that this isn't about being really gung-ho and muscly. Okay, this is about creating resilience, connection, wellness in our body. So less is more because we repeat things. And if you're starting to lift and really contract, then you've gone too heavy with your weight. Okay, so come stand on your mat with your slidey stuff and your two tins. Or you can stand off your mat. Oh, hold on. Great. Hopefully my head will be on this. Oh, just about. Anyways, so I'll change the angle of the camera tomorrow. So start with, um, with nothing, actually. Start with nothing and then just begin to roll down along your spine. Bending your knees, softening, just rolling down. And then when you come all the way back up, go slowly. When your hands are near your thighs, reach your arms wide and reach and really connect into the floor as you reach up into your fingertips. Nice. Drop your arms down, rolling down, roll down along your spine. Feel the weight of your arms, the rolling of your spine. And then as you roll back up, when your hands are near your thighs, reach your arms wide, reach up and push down into both feet. So one of my feet works harder than the other. So I'm going to try and push into both feet as I reach into both arms. Nice. And then rolling down, I'm rolling down again, down along the spine. Pause there, deep fold. Your knees are bent softly. Your belly is resting on your thighs. Your head is dropping. Your arms are heavy. For me, that idea of, you know, what gets in the way of me shining, <laughs> there's so much in it. You know, so settling is one of the first parts that I do instead of like, oh, it's like, oh, settling, really settling into this moment, settling into this body, settling into now in your body. Nice. Slowly rolling up, keep your knees bent as you roll up. Hands are near your thighs, reach your arms wide, reaching up really, really long, and then bring your arms all the way down. Cool. So we start without weights today. So you're standing on your left leg and slide your right foot out to the side. And I'm really keeping the weight in the baby toe side of my foot and then come back up. Nice. Slide out as far as you can go. Where does your foot go to? And then back in. 
out. I'm on the baby toe side of my left foot really strongly. And then back in. Nice. Slide forward. So right foot slides forward. And I have this sense of really lifting through my spine as I do this. And then right foot slides back as far back as you can go. Right foot slides forward. And right foot slides back. And I'm not rocking my torso. I'm trying to keep this sense of alignment through my spine. Ever so slightly, I'm drawing my navel towards my spine as I slide back, as I slide forward. Nice, other side. So left foot out to the side as far as it'll go. Pushing into the baby toe side of my foot. Rise. I'm like, what is your distance? We may start having things that we move as we do this in the month go as goes by, but let's just see. Slide. Slide. Nice. So forward and backwards, as far forward as you can, keeping that sense of connection through your spine. Backwards. Forwards. Backwards. One more time. Forward was the furthest point you can touch without changing your weight. And backwards. So actually grab your two tins, or if you're not using tins, or if you don't have your tins, don't worry. Okay, so first movement, you can see me, is it's a bit like running. So pull your right elbow forward, left elbow back, left elbow forward, and have that sense of rising through your spine as you do this. So you're really tall into your body. How far back does your elbow go? How high up does your elbow go? Slow the movement down. Be in your body. Get really tall. That sense of radiance from the floor into your pelvis, through the length of your spine. So you're radiant right now. You're shining through your whole body right now. Like how much taller could you get? How deeper could you move into your spine? Into the whole of your body. Nice. So we're going to bring that on to the next level. So right elbow forward, left elbow back. Just bring your right left foot a little bit forward. Left foot is moving. And then bring your left elbow forward, left foot back. So your, if I talk about the left side, your foot is doing the opposite to your elbow. If I talk about the opposites, your left foot is doing the same as the right elbow. And I'm not going far. Okay. These are functional patterns. Nice, other side, and make it small. If you're finding it wobbly, then make it smaller. So I know you can stand up, okay? <laughs> right now you're standing up. So how do you take that standing up feeling and expand it? Make your right foot slide forward. As you do so, your left elbow glides forward. Make it smaller so that you have your balance. And so we're rotating through the core, gliding through the spine, being really tall through the body. You probably notice that you're getting warm. Small as you need it to be, as big as you need it to be. Nice, have your two weights, reach them up towards the ceiling, and then lift your right foot off the floor. Just lift it up and reach even taller through your arms. Right foot is a tiny bit, a lot, a little off the floor. See where it is. Nice. Come down, bend your elbows. Other side. Reach your left foot off the floor. Reach your arms up. So the tendency is, is that when you have weights in your hands, the tendency is that you are connecting through the core more than you would be otherwise. So this maybe feels more connected than what it usually is. Just travel from side to side. Arms go up, foot lifts out. Find that connection through the whole of your body. How would you shine right now? How would you be in the whole of your body as you move slowly, as you find, how do I do this version of this movement in this moment, in this body, in this moment? One more time each side. Just 
Super job. Great. So bring your things to the front of your mat. Have your slidey stuff handy. And come to the right side of your mat. So your right knee and right hand are at the edge of your mat. Okay. And then just round your back. Arch your back. Round your back. Arch your back. Cool. So if you're on a carpet, then you'll need your shiny piece of paper. If you're on wood, you're going to need a slidey sock thing. So bring your thing back and stretch your right leg long behind you and have your toe on your slidey thing. And then slide your right knee forward and back. And when it's back, try and lengthen back as long as you can. Squeezing up. Sliding back. Up. Back. Up. Back. So next time it comes up, travel halfway so that your right foot is beside your left knee. And then travel out. Back. Keep steady through your body. Nice. Now you're going to do a circle. So what size of a circle does that right foot make on the floor? And then in the other direction. Circle in the other direction. Nice. Cool. Go to the other side. Left side of your mat. Take your thing. Bring it over. Or maybe you have two. Round your back, arch your back, round your back, arch your back, nice, take your slidey thing underneath your foot, slide the left foot out, you're going to get really good at these things, <laughs> slide your left foot in, out, out up last one out up bring your foot so it's same height as your left knee right knee side back side back side now do circles that's the biggest circle you can make keeping your sense of integrity in the torso so you're not following with your and I have to push down into the slidey thing. It's not like I can be floating. I actually have to really connect into it in the floor. Otherwise, it'll leave other direction. Glide. Nice. Sit back into a child's pose. Rest your bum back. Bring your arms back. Rest down. You can have your head resting on your hands if you wish, or... Whichever variation suits you. You'll notice where are you feeling this class at the moment? Drop your attention into your belly. Let your attention rest in the heart. And just allow a sense of softening, connecting, settling just in relationship to yourself. Softening. Nice. So hands and knees, grab your thingy, Bobby. <laughs> yeah, you're over the right side of your mat and then reach your right hand as far forward as you can. And then like a clock, one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock, four, but feel that it's not stretching that you're doing, you're wiping the floor. So really feel that there's a, an intention. So 12 o'clock, one o'clock. And so I'm pushing down into the floor more so than stretching my shoulder. So I stop before I go into that stretchy, overextended feeling. Forward, 
one o'clock, two o'clock. And so I still feel my elbow even stays slightly bent because that's what you would do if you were cleaning. Nice, then big circles. This is shine. <laughs> and keep that sense of how do I push into the floor and really feel the floor beneath my hand. Nice, shine in the other direction. I'm going to have really shiny floors. Nice, other side. So, left side of your mat. 12 o'clock. 1 o'clock. Remember, 2 o'clock, keep your elbow a little bit bent. So it's not about stretching your arm, it's a functional movement that's trying to wipe something on the floor. 12 o'clock. 1 o'clock. 2 o'clock. Three. We're going back. Last time, 12 o'clock. Oh, one o'clock. Two. Three. Four. Five. And six. Nine circles. How do you really push into the floor so it's not a movement that's separate from the floor it's connected deeply to the floor and then in the other direction nice good job cool so push back into your downward dog have a sense of length through your legs pull back through your heels great connection create that sense of radiation. So as you push into the floor, radiate through your body. So for me, that's the rebound. As I push into the floor, I send energy into my hips. And as I push into my feet, I send energy into my spine. Then I connect my abdominal muscles and I deepen and widen through the pelvis, through the rib cage. Nice. Drop your knees down. Step your right foot between your two hands. Grab your things or nothing at all. Rise up. And then just pull one elbow back, pull the other elbow forward. And as you pull your elbow back, turn your head slightly to that side. And so when you're turning your head, it's harder. So just feel that. It's just slight turning. Even just turn your eyes. How do you manage this balance nice next time your elbow goes back your elbow goes forward stretch your arms elbow comes back elbow comes forward stretch your arms and my arm is going backwards backwards so i feel the sense of the the rising behind me Nice. Both hands down. Other side. Grab your two things, rising up, and just start that sense of elbows in motion. Turning your head slightly to the elbow that's going back. Eyes, maybe. Nice. And then straighten. Straighten. Straighten, feel it. All the way back. So you're really reaching behind you. Wow, can you see that there's light? There's light in the sky. Wow, that's so cool. Nice, bring both hands down. That's a celebration. Here, look. Look at that. There's light in the sky. Huh. Cool, great guys. So come lie on your mat all the way down. Lie on your mat. It's this beautiful blue color. Lying on your mat, arms are wide. Glide your knees from side to side. Nice. Pause with your hands on your heart. And just think of two things that you have something to be grateful about. You know, something 
that we are so lucky. Naming the two things and feeling that gratitude in your heart. Nice. So bring your arms along beside you. Maybe just stay there with your knees bent or you can bring the soles of your feet together. And stay there just until the music is over. Just let yourself pause, rest, deepen into your shine. You know, how, how would you shine right now? How would you settle into a softer place in yourself that allows more of you to express itself in this moment. Nice guys, um, really looking forward to shine uh, with all of you here. And um, yeah, as always, we're here for 28 days this month until the 28th of March, Monday the 28th of March. And so uh, 10 euros for the month or any part of, and um, yeah, we, we it's necessary. <laughs> uh, deeply appreciated and necessary that we get paid for this. Uh, Sinead, my sister runs the office, so uh, you'll probably be in contact with her if you contact us. Um, how glorious. So be well. Um, yeah, notice what gets in the way of you shining uh, and be grateful. One of the deepest things in me right now is gratitude. Um, so see you tomorrow morning for another morning of shine.